Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. So probably one of my most watched videos here on my channel is a video I posted quite a while ago about putting heat transfer vinyl onto a mug with a mini iron. It has been watched over and over and probably at least once a week I get a comment on that video. So today's video I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing now. I am no longer putting vinyl onto mugs the same way and I just wanted to kind of show you guys an updated version of what I've found since I posted that video and hopefully it'll help you give you some ideas and tips and tricks and some pros and cons of both ways to do it. When we purchased our store, we also purchased the sublimation um, products to offer that in our store. And that totally changed how I do my designs. However, we do still offer some vinyl on things. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But with sublimation, you need to have special materials. Your mugs and cups need to be coated with a special material so that they will hold the ink. You need to have special ink. You need to have special paper. I am going to list a couple of places in the description box below where I have purchased um, these particular designs. I got these ones from My Vinyl Direct. So they have the printer, the ink, etc., and they print them off and you can purchase them. So you just need the mugs and the mug press. We've got a Sawgrass 800. I love this. Um, it prints large 13 by 19 papers, as well as the small ones. Um, but it does have special ink that you need to have for sublimation printing. And then we use our regular heat press as well as the mug press when it comes to mugs. And that is what we use to um, make our mugs now in the store. And so like I said, if you had a mug press and you had the mugs, you could purchase designs online and you would be able to create your own sublimation mugs. And you wouldn't have to purchase this printer and the ink which both are very, very expensive. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I would make a mug um, with sublimation, and I'm gonna show you why I choose this versus using vinyl. Now, what I wanted to say was if you have a vinyl cutting machine and you wanna personalize things and put vinyl on cups and etc., go for it, it's awesome. I mean, that's why we buy our Cricut, our silhouette, etc., is because we want to be able to personalize things. And so if you want to do that, awesome. Now, this particular um, thing that I am printing out, this is for a customer. They wanted this saying, and I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit how different it would be if I was going to do it on vinyl. Here, I just went into my program on my computer. I typed it up. I printed it on some mug paper um, on my sawgrass. One thing you do want to remember is that you want to reverse your things um, in sublimation because they're going to be transferred on there in the correct order. So that's just um, little things. I don't want to go too in-depth today. And then I've got some heat tape and I just put a little... Um, a little tab on part of the tape before I put it on there. Make sure that it's, you know, all lined up and not crooked, straight on the mug, etc. And then I used um, some paper, either butcher paper or just some white printer paper, some cheap stuff, and stick it in there. And you can reuse that white paper over and over again until it gets kind of burnt. And then stick it in your heat press for the allotted time. Um, I usually do a couple of minutes and then I set it on this tile and let it cool down for a while, especially when I am using black. You want to make sure that it cools down and then I can just peel that little tab and peel the paper off and yahoo, I got this cute little saying on my mug. Um, I did have a little bit of lighter part down at the bottom simply because... Um, I don't think there was enough pressure on that particular part. 
So if I were to cut out that vinyl with my Cricut or um, any other kind of cutting machine, you guys can kind of see here how crazy and how delicate those little letters are. Now this is going to be making them the same size as what I printed off. Now, if you're going to do something larger, like just simply your name or a bigger image, it's totally fine. But for tedious little things like this, and this often is what customers want is certain things like this that they saw, I like being able to offer them the sublimation because <laughs> you'll see here that I, I get like a couple and they kind of move around. If you've done anything with vinyl and anything delicate like this, you guys know Mm, I'm not even going to finish wasting my time, to be perfectly honest with you, because I have better things to do. I just wanted to kind of briefly show you guys that option. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave me a comment or a thumbs up so that I know. And if you would like to see more sublimation videos in the future, I would be happy to share them with you guys. These are just a few of the fun things that I've created. It is, it is a lot of fun, but it is quite the investment to get going on it and um, start. But like I said, I just wanted to share that with you guys today, update the video that I did last time. Most of these mugs and some of the t-shirts that I'm showing here are available in my Etsy shop if you'd like to check it out. But I appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you enjoyed and you found this informative. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.